Hello guys, my name is Vidyada and welcome back to another video in the Django Foundation series. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure, use and load static files in our templates. So what we're going to do in this video is essentially add some static files like images, CSS files in our project and use them in our templates and uh, see how to serve static files. To get started, let's just go to the block folder that we have, which is the app and create a new folder inside it called static. In this folder, we're going to store everything that we need. So now let me go to the browser and go download some images. So to download the images, I'm going to use a free open, uh, service called Unsplash from where you can download royalty free images for your projects. So I'm just going to go and search landscape and find these images and let me just download this beautiful image. So I'm just going to click download free and I have to essentially make sure that I save this in the static folder that I have. So I'm going to go to the desktop, uh, my CMS project, uh, the blog app, static folder and here I'm going to save and I'm going to save this image as landscape.jpg. So once I save this in my folder, now I should be able to see it here. So I have landscape.jpg and to set it up, that's all we need to do. Now we can start using it in our template. So to start with, let me just go to my home.html, which has been sitting idle for a very long time right now. So in this now, I'm just going to quickly uh, add an image tag and uh, here I'm going to access the image. So before we serve this, let's just start the server. So let me go here. Uh, it has already started the server. But what will happen is if I try to visit the endpoint where the image is going to be served, it's not going to be accessible because every single time you make some changes to the static folder, remember this, that you need to kill the server and restart it again. So if I do python manage.py run server, now this should essentially recognize that there is a file called landscape.jpg in our static folder and we can access it from an endpoint called static. So now I'm going to go to the browser, go to my root domain. So the static files will be served after the root domain at an endpoint called static. This is where uh, Django will by default serve it. So now my file is inside the static folder and I can directly give the path of the file after the static endpoint. So if it was in a given folder inside static, I would have to type in the entire path, but since it's directly there, so I can just say landscape.jpg and my Django server essentially has to serve that image. So now you can see that the image is available at slash static slash that file name. So now I have to use the same in my project. So I'm going to go to my templates and just simply type in slash static slash landscape dot JPEG. So after I type this in, I can go to my root domain, which is where home.html is being served. And I should get this file along with my HTML. So you can see that because the file is big, it's actually quite huge, but it's now loaded into my HTML file. And that's how you load a static file in any HTML file. And if even if it was a CSS file, you were to do the same thing. So now let's get started and see how to work with this. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's add a CSS file and load that in this template. Now I'm going to go to my static folder and create a new file called home.css and uh, in home.css I'm going to say header image a class to just style my image that I have I'm going to say max width of this or essentially the width of this image to be 300 pixels and I'm going to make border radius to be 50 percent let's just make a square image so height is also 300 pixels and um, background position should be sent center. So I think this will make the image look pretty. Now let's go add this class to my HTML. So first thing I need to import this home.css. I'm going to link it right here. It's at static slash home.css and I need to add the class to this tag and the name of the class is header image. So once I add this, this class should get applied to image and it should become of height and width 300 pixels, background position center center, border area 50% should make it circle. Uh, if it becomes that, that I, then I know that home.css was successfully loaded in my home.html file. So let's go to the server and refresh this page. And so we can see that now that styling has gotten applied to a static file and that's how you load static files in a project. 